Reloading for the uh, 43 Spanish or the 11.15 by 58 Grim goes in uh, Remington Argentine model rolling block rifle. Well, I'm back again starting on this project. My first attempt, I just loaded a few rounds, smokeless rounds, and we're going to do the smokeless uh, today. That's what we're going to work on, smokeless powder loads. Uh, some people in these old guns load only black powder, and that's fine, but I found there's an awful lot of people that shoot these guns and they put a reduced smokeless load in there because uh, less of a hassle, less cleaning. But you have, kind of have to be careful with smokeless loads. You don't want to get them too hot or overpressurize the gun, depending on the gun's condition. The one I have is in excellent shape, so as long as we keep it low, you know, on a low end, or we're, we're going to be all right. But uh, this is my second attempt. First time I loaded some Unique in there, very light charge Unique, and just lobbed out a bullet cast out of wheel weights. And I'll show you what we got going on here, what I'm using. Get in there a little. All right, what I've done is I didn't get the proper mold for this rifle. Uh, the bullet shape's a little bit different. It's a little longer, rounder nose, and it's uh, 339 diameter. What I've done is taken the uh, Lyman bullet mold for the um, the Mauser, this uh, 43 Mauser bullet, which is about the same weight, but that's that's for the uh, 71. Uh, it's for a 43 miles or caliber, and it's a 446. And what I do is take that bullet, cast it, size it down to uh, 443 thousandths, uh, which is one thousandths over the groove diameter of the rifle I had. The rifle groove diameter is 442 thousandths, so I got a thousandths in there trying to get this bullet to ride the board tight and see if I can get some accuracy. And when you do that, you kind of back off your max loads. So we're going to try to use that other bullet, see what happens, you know, because I already had the mold for that gun. Uh, if not, then I'm going to, you know, eventually I will buy the actual 43 Spanish bullet mold. And that usually, it throws a 439 bullet, so they'll come out of there four depending on the alloy you use, uh, this is clip-on wheel weights, you get an extra thousands or so, maybe two. So it would come out 440, 441, which is close. And you can use that in itself uh, without sizing them, and then it's pretty close to the 443, but I size them down, they're uniform, and I'm going to experiment with it and see what it does. It might, might not work for you know, it might not work out well, and, and uh, maybe it will, I don't know, because it is a little bit different shaped bullet. The other bullet's a little designed. The brass I got, I have the Jameson brass, which I like, and then I have this other brass, which has been formed from the Winchester uh, 348 Winchester. And if you notice, they put like a little, they swage that edge on there because uh, it's a pretty thick rim for that cartridge, if you look. It needs a thick rim, and when you're forming the brass, the uh, rim isn't thick enough, so then they swage it a little. In other words, so the face, the face will be here, and then they swage it, so then you get your, your thickness, kind of like modification. And plus the thickness of this brass also is a little uh, three thousandths per side, so it's six thousandths thicker. So I'm leaning towards using the Jameson brass. And then I have, that's what the cartridge looks like with that bullet on there. Looks pretty good. Uh, I tried it, it shot a little high and the last time I tried this, but we're going to give it another shot. I'm going to get the chronograph out, make sure it's all running well, and then I'll get back to you on it. And maybe you can, you know, that way if you already got the bullet molds for the one rifle, you can modify that bullet to work here. Um, I'll 
I'll see how that design works in this rifle. Well, that's kind of like an update on what I've been doing. This, you know, back to reloading this. And eventually I will make a black powder load and make a video of uh, making the black powder load for this caliber.